Will the robots of the future be made of living flesh? If you ever find yourself in a place of existential dread at the oncoming robot apocalypse, just do what I do. Fire up a montage of robots falling over at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Not so scary now, are they? These robots represent the best and brightest in engineering and robotics experts in software and hardware, and they really show how this mechanical medium is both new and limited. Not like biological organisms. You see, living organisms are energy efficient, and a lot of them are extremely elegant. This is where that old adage comes into play. If you can't beat them, join them. Literally, join them. There are researchers who are now looking at joining robotics with living biological flesh. Take the work of a team from Case Western Reserve's biologically inspired robotics laboratory. In July 2016, they announced they had developed a special robot made up of 3D printed soft plastic parts and the disembodied mouth muscle from a California sea slug. When they expose the robot to an external electric field, the muscle contracts and the robot moves. They envision a future where swarms of these robots can enter the water and search for everything from a toxic leak to an aircraft's black box. And they can actually draw nutrients from the water, powering those living tissue cells. And the Slugbot isn't alone. There are also some researchers out of Harvard who have developed artificial biological entities, like a jellyfish, and later on, a stingray. And both of them use special actuators, you know, the, the things that make robots move, designed from the living tissue of rats' hearts. Macabre? Maybe, but it also makes a weird sort of sense because hearts are organs that react to stimuli and move a fluid around. And jellyfish and stingrays are organisms that react to stimuli and move through a fluid. Now, all of these things accomplish fluid movement in a very similar way through these undulating muscular movements. So why not really pursue realism and create silicone robot bodies with layers of thin tissue from rat heart muscle? The resulting biobots swim like the real thing. Maybe a little too real. And the researchers went even further with the stingrays using lab cultured genetically modified rat heart muscle tissue that could react to light, which meant they could move it through a little obstacle course, mad scientist style. These experiments are more than just demonstration of human ingenuity. The team actually hopes to lay the groundwork for better artificial hearts in the future human hearts. You see, they want to culture a patient's own cells to build biohybrid hearts. It could actually change shape and size depending upon the patient's status at any given time. Plus, robots that have living tissue in them are non-toxic. So if your ocean crawler robot or your living heart robot were to break down, it's not gonna poison the water or the patient. But I've got a question for you guys this week. As we get better at developing cruelty-free living animal tissue in the lab, should we build more bio-robots? And what would you use your bio-robots to do? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and join the forward-thinking think tank by subscribing to the channel. Then make sure you check out these other amazing videos about the future right over here.